There has been some massive news for Arc Age Chronicles and Chrono Odyssey. Some of it good, some of it bad. So let's jump in and let's talk about it. So basically, there was a Kakao financial presentation. These are things that they, are, I think, basically legally required to present to investors and shareholders and stuff like that. And in it, they talk about the existing products and the ones that are going to be coming up because that will all impact their financials. Kakao, if you don't know, own XL Games, who are making Dark Age Chronicles, and they are going to be publishing Chrono Odyssey. They spoke a lot about their financials. Apparently, in the year it's down, but in the quarter it's up. They think Path of Exiles, which I think they're publishing, is going to do very well globally and you know what they're probably right there before we get on to dates and stuff like that though we need to talk about some of the statements they made about mmos in general for example they were talking about how recently mmos have not succeeded in the west now my instant reaction there is to sort of doubt that throne liberty did okay new world had a million plays basically at launch lost ark is still doing very well mmos that are kind of actually sometimes decent seem to do relatively okay. And this is important because it relates to them moving away from the term MMORPG. And actually that's going to affect the gameplay. Apparently, I think in both of the games, they basically say they're gonna move away from some of the large scale battles, such as Realm v Realm, PVP, wars and stuff like that. And they're concentrating more on the term ARPG and the kind of gameplay that that will add to both of these games. Now to some of you, that will sound very similar to something you've heard. Amazon Games have recently pulled the same kind of trick with New World. It is still an MMO New World, but a lot of the branding for it when it went to console was all talking about action RPG. It looks like Kakao sort of see the writing on the wall and they're heading in that direction as well. Now for some of you, that will be an immediate disappointment, but don't be disappointed just yet. Yes, they say they're going to focus a little bit more on like the single player elements. It is still going to be an MMO as far as I can tell in both games and in many different ways. However, I think they're moving to what they call these growth RPGs. Now, I think growth RPGs are basically your looter gatherers, your looter shooter kind of gameplay. They did say though that there will be competitive PvP for guilds and parties and there will be dungeons and raids all the kind of normal stuff except it's just not going to try and achieve what you know like something like throne liberty is doing having mass pvp battles and that makes sense because these games are action rpgs at the end of the day they have action combat and we've seen with new world that that sort of requires a little bit of more computational power and it would be difficult to have a mass pvp fight with that system for me though this kind of sounds perfect i like pvp i just didn't really like throne liberty where i'm like one person in a 2000 battle just didn't really do it for me i like the more kind of arena pvp battles on a sort of smaller scale especially if we're using action combat so some of you might be disappointed for me it actually gets me more excited now whether or not they will achieve this well that is another question because they say that they believe that they have the experience the knowledge, the history to make this happen. They actually also mentioned some recent Chinese success, which I'm guessing is mostly talking about Once Human, but probably a little bit of Taris Land as well. They think they can one-up those. So let's see them do it. Now, moving into actual dates and stuff like that is quite interesting. First, let's talk about Chrono Odyssey because it sounds like Chrono Odyssey is going to be the first one that we actually get to play and experience and hopefully release if all things go well. So they mentioned that Chrono Odyssey is going to have a closed beta test in Q1 2025. Now, the problem with that is they never actually use the word public closed beta test. So I don't know if that's going to be like an internal test and then they're going to see what happens or is it actually a massive scale test? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see. Maybe it's something you can get your hands on. Maybe you can't. They then said if it's good, there will be a subsequent test. And then hopefully, if everything goes well, a release at the end of 2025. Well, I think they might say the second half of 2025, but in a little document that they have where they have the dates, it says Q4. Now, the little caveat to this is that they have been talking about this game for a while and there's been quite a few dates given, it wouldn't be a massive surprise if it gets a, another delay. Now, this wasn't specifically related to Chrono Odyssey, I don't think, but for both of these games, Chrono Odyssey and Arcade Chronicles, the business model sounds very interesting. They are saying, and now every company I think that has ever made a live service or MMO have said this a billion times over, but they are saying that they are removing the pay to win. Like there is no pay to win apparently, or at least there'll probably be like minimal pay to win, unlike some other MMOs recently that we've seen. And they say that this is them adapting to monetization in line with what the global audience expects. Again, we've heard this before though, so 
just keep that in mind however it sounds like they're going to be both kind of like buy to play games and then they'll do other different kinds of monetization in line with the global audience which i'm guessing is stuff like cosmetics and probably like little bits of dlc i'm not really 100 sure i don't really actually play any live service game at this point apart from an mmo which i guess is kind of a live service game so i'm not really 100 sure what kind of monetization they mean there but i guess it's cosmetics season passes battle passes whatever it is you name it it'll be everything except like direct power that is like infinite i guess and hope which if i'm honest again sounds perfect for me now that's pretty much everything we heard for Chrono odyssey hopefully that will release at the end of 2025 hopefully we get to experience a public closed beta test or public test somehow the difference between closed beta test and open beta test is simply you either have to pay or you have to get invited into a closed beta test sometimes you know if you pre-order you get in sometimes it's invite only so we'll see which ones we get i sort of feel like the first one might be invite only and then if that goes well the second one will be to everybody time will tell though but moving on to arcade chronicles well there's some like, immediate bad news here it looks like this game has just been straight up delayed just a couple of weeks back they had a trailer where it said coming in 2025 yeah well they've already changed their mind what they actually said with arcade is that there's going to be a closed beta test in the end of 2025 maybe q3 maybe q4 and then they basically said depending on how well that goes we'll decide when we actually release arcade chronicles obviously if it goes really badly it would get delayed but if it goes really well what they are currently planning is to release it basically in either the first half of 2026 or even maybe around the summertime of 2026 which as i said is kind of funny considering they said 2025 a couple of weeks back i would assume the monetization is the same as what they're planning with chrono odyssey and let's hope they actually keep the pay to win out of these games i think there's a very interesting subject here it looks kind of like developers on one hand are moving away from the turn mmorpg to try and get into a more mainstream audience you know maybe they want a little bit of that destiny pie path of exiles pie which you know kakao already published and it might actually fit mmos if they do it well if they don't do it well then it could just feel like an infinite grind that isn't very enjoyable but overall i would say i'm excited about these two games these two games if i'm honest are really where my focus is it's probably going to be for the next year and a half depending on when they actually release obviously there's more delays that will be a problem but that's where i'm going to really put most of my content to be honest with you yes they've removed the large scale pvp let's be honest throne of liberty has absolutely nailed that by the way in the tab target environment there's just so many people and it's so well optimized but for getting tab target if you're going to do action combat i don't think you can do massive thousand v a thousand person battles what you can do though is still include pvp which i'm a pvxer so this is music to my ears but you can still have guild and party based pvp i wouldn't mind an arena i wouldn't mind like a 10 v 10 battleground some people will be turned off by the idea of single player content but actually i bet you that's more popular than you think i kind of believe that most people are in the middle there are some people who play mmos just to play solo and never actually want to group with anybody and for them people i sort of wonder why you play an mmo and then there's other people who are like i want to be grouped all the time 100 percent of the time if i'm not in a group then why am i even bothering playing an mmo for me sometimes i want to play alone sometimes i want to play in a group often sometimes i actually want to play alongside people maybe in like a solo queue battleground but other times maybe i do want to group up and do an arena or do a raid i think mmos are good in the fact that they let you pick the kind of content you want and how you're feeling at the time for a lot of you this might be a little bit too much to the soul gameplay if that's the case go and play ashes of creation right that's like grouped 99 percent of the time for me though i'm really really excited about these two games if they are any kind of quality and actually decent products and decent gaming experiences then yeah i'm very much on this hype train for now though let me know your thoughts in the comments below big shout out to my patrons and if you want to come talk to me about this or anything then come over and watch me on twitch it's gonna be huge thank you bye